Why, hello there, I'm Maris. This is GamerQuest, and this is Rogue Q. I do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of this to take a look at. As you can see, we're getting right into it. This is an adorable little bullet hell game. I stink at aiming with the, uh, with the switch thing. I have to figure out a better way to hold it. Um, but this is a, obviously, a little roguelike shooter. Um, this does have multiplayer. Right now, I am playing with the blue cube. I have three cubes available to me right now. Each of them has different stats. Oh, so, you know, you want to pay attention to what you're picking just because... You know, you may think, you know, oh, this this cube is a cool color. I like it, but in turn, it's got low defense, but high speed and high damage, that type thing. So, you definitely want to, uh, let's try the staple gun. Okay. <laughs> Just grab that. Oh, yeah, let's do the crossbow instead. All right. Controls are nice and easy. You're using, whoop, you're using the, you know, the regular left, uh, left analog to, uh, ooh, this has a delay. Okay. Ooh, this has a very long delay. Okay. But it's one hit kills. I'll take it. Um, so you're using the left analog stick to move and the right analog stick aims and then the right trigger button is uh your shot oh i like this oh man is that lovely or what Ooh, very nice so you can see our xp bar is getting a little Fuller and fuller. Okay. I don't want the frying pan. I will take this though. Mm -hmm. So we got more HP. Good stuff. Ooh. We kind of got to... Once you stand on that, you teleport. Now there's also different, there's multiple boards to um, each of these areas. So, oh, man. when you, uh, when you see something like, you know, you start up and it's 1-1. One, one. Well, you're going to be in world 1 for a little bit because it's... Oops. Oh, good. I didn't have chest. Here we go. Because you have to go through a couple in each. Also, different things to watch out for in the different environments, too. Like sand, can, sand traps can slow you down. Oof. Oof. You die. Oh. I see. Hmm. All right, let's come over here. We'll do campaign. So let us do the orange. So here you can see good accuracy, lower ammo max. So let's let's give him a go. His accuracy is a lot better. Ooh. 
up. My screw up. My screw up. Let's come up here. And you really got to make sure you look around. Yeah, we'll do the crossbow. Why not? You just hit Y to switch your, uh, your weapons. Let's try that again. Goes fast. And just think you get to PvP your friends in this game too, because they you can uh you can do battles against your friends. That was it? Okay. Originally, when I was originally started checking this out, I'm like, oh, let me do the purple one. You know, I like purple. Purple's a nice color. Not paying attention to the fact that, uh... Oh, here we go. I got a melee weapon. Heck yeah. Not uh, not even paying attention to the fact that there were different stats. That's how I uh, that's why I pointed those out because I was like, yeah, everything's fine. They're all the same. But they're not. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Seems when the melee weapon hits hits uh back the uh the things. I think, uh, I think melee is my, uh, I think melee is my, uh, go-to here. Okay. The Quantic Explosor is not a toy. No, it's not. Oh, a broom! Oh, lovely. Uh, you know... Oh, yes. Absolutely beating people to death with the broom now. Where has this weapon been my whole life? I have ne I have haven't seen the broom come up yet as a weapon that comes out. I'll tell you what, twists and turns around all corners in this game. But that's kind of the good thing about it. You never know what you're gonna get. So purple. Oh. Three damage to enemies, and then we'll play a Sam. Oh, hold on. Got the putsy, uh, the putsy aiming again that I stink so much at. Okay. What is that? No, I don't want the plasma pistol. Thank you.
Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. That popping no I always think it's me getting, like, killed. Staple gun. Okay, let's do it. Three health. God. That's horrifying. Assault rifle, but I'm good. Ugh. I have to do everything I can to not take a hit. Okay. Now we got everything we did. If that means swinging my frying pan like a furious crazy person. I'm swinging my frying pan like a furious crazy person. So let's... We got Sam. I haven't played a Sam yet at all. Sam needs a melee weapon. Right, Sam? We need to go about slapping people. Sticks, brooms, frying pans, don't matter. Don't matter. Speaking of, it's on like Donkey Kong, baby. Okay. Got everything? Okay. I'll tell you what, these melee weapons, man. I was so entranced with the guns and everything that uh, it was like, oh, why would I pick up a melee weapon? But uh, I'm sorry I didn't pick them up sooner. Give another go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I don't like the plasma pistol. The plasma pistol, I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it works just fine, but it's one of those things like how I was complaining that the crossbow has a bit of a delay, so does the plasma pistol. The shotgun was good. And the machine gun isn't half bad either. I like that they, they start you out with this fast pistol, though. Staple gun. Nah. Okay. Alright. Ooh. 
sugar. It kind of sucks in if you get too close, too, so just be real careful. <laughs> yes. Wow, he takes a lot of hits to take people out with the stick. Let's go... Actually, you know what? Let's do the daily. Oh, uh, let's do it with Ninja. Okay. Oh, it's so slow. Oof. Oof. All right, let's... We'll just... We'll do it with cube. We'll try the daily with the regular blue cube. I don't know who I thought I was doing that. Ah! I'm so terrible at this. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try it with orange, shall we? Let's see here. I don't have anything. Let's take a look at what, the, what settings they have. Oh, check that out. Access dead zones. Oof. Oh, and there's a tutorial too. Awesome. Let's do one more run. Um, let's just try a regular run with Ninja. Definitely takes a little getting used to, to him. It's definitely that delay is quite significant. He seems like he'd be pretty strong. It's possible that as he levels up, his swings get faster. Always a possibility. Definitely a really fun little game. If you like, like, roguelike dungeon crawlers, bullet hell style games, this is definitely a fun thing. If you like playing with your games... There's the co-op option, so you and your friend can go through this, or friends. You can do, obviously, up to four people. Um, or you can PvP battle against your friends. That's great, too. Definitely, definitely runs good, feels good. So, good little grab. I, kids would probably love this brightly colored everything. You can sit them down, play with their friends. That's an A+. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later.
Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to gamerquest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.